Johnson. Welcome back to Close Up on San Diego Business, where we get up close and personal with San Diego businesses and the key people that are working hard to make a difference in our community. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here on KFSD AM 1450 and financialnewsandtalk.com. Okay, we're back. Take a, take a deep breath. Boy, <laughs> boy, Mike is... Mike. The cyclone. I feel oh, like yeah. I need a cigarette and a shot of Jack Daniels. How about yeah. all y'all? Yeah, I'll just take the Jack Daniels. You can have the cigarette. I've never um, smoked before, but I might now. Ooh, he's something. Isn't he amazing? He is. He is. Well, we're here with somebody else that's amazing, oh, yeah. too. The, the, yeah, but I got to follow that. That's, that's <laughs> I mean, okay. come on, guys. You're killing me. Hey. hey. <laughs> okay. Well we'll, well, we'll we'll put it up on uh, YouTube, and then everybody can watch the video, and then you'll be in good shape. Yeah. Okay. Cindy Matalucci from The Pulse. So uh, welcome. Tell us a little bit about The Pulse and you and your background, and, and uh, where do we start? Well, thanks for having me. I love it. I appreciate it. Um, so The Pulse, I was in corporate in the corporate world for 17 years. So my background was sales and marketing, and um, I always I, my clients were so great at what they did, but they weren't great at marketing. So I, I saw this niche where I was putting together these events for a women's group I was part of, and we were hosting an event in a venue. We were bringing people in, we were taking photos of the events, we were having um, vendors in there, and I thought this is such a great marketing idea. Why can't we capture this and use this for marketing? And um, I've always been, you know, really passionate about E! News and Entertainment Tonight and some of those really fun shows. And I thought, but they're celebrity-based. And, and San Diego is, is such a great town, such a great city. We've got so many fabulous entrepreneurs. Why can't we find a way to take you inside these businesses and get the story of the entrepreneur and then try products and services on camera? So all of that was kind of the inspiration for it. And then um, I took three of my largest clients in the corporate world as guinea pigs. And I said, hey, I've got this great idea. You know, bear with me. Can we do this? And they were gracious enough to, um, you know, let me video and film and take photos of, of this event that they were having. And then we put it together and it just kind of grew from there. And so it started and that was about three years ago. We never looked back. Now, you do events and, and video for all different types of businesses, though, right? I mean, you're known as being, you know, the fabulous fashionista of San Diego, but you can really do this for any type of business, right? Exactly, exactly. And we always adapt as well. So, I mean, basically what we can do is we can work with a boutique owner. We can work with a bar or restaurant. We can work at a gala or an event or something like that. So it really depends on what the client wants. So what we are is we're video marketing, but we're with an interview style. So we're a different take on a regular video type company. So, so tell me what, what you do or what the client does with the video when you have the package done. How does that help the client? What do you do from there? Well, yeah, I mean, basically, let's say you have, I'll give you an example. I had, had a client that I just recently did something for, and she has lash extensions. So, you know, women love, oh, I want to get lash extensions, a fun, fun product. Well, I was thinking, as a woman, I would want to see that before I went and booked an appointment, right. right? Well, how do you see that? You don't see it really anywhere unless it's on video. So my idea for her was, well, let's come in. Let's get your story, what separates your business from, say, another lash extension business, and then let, let's try it on camera. So I got to sit down. Speaking of being a guinea pig. Yes, I'm a guinea pig for many of my clients, and I'm, I'm actually like a third-party person. So instead of you as a business owner sitting there and selling yourself on camera, I do it for you. So it's a very natural setting and a very natural conversation, and it's fun and it's hip. So we produce that, and then what we do is we take that video and we give it to the client. So the client now has that for marketing. They can send that out by newsletter. They can put it on their website, right. LinkedIn company profile. That's huge right now video on there, um, social media, Facebook. And then we at The Pulse, being an authority on San Diego, we've got such a great following and engagement, we send it out as well. So it's like double the PR and double the marketing efforts for the client. So you've created a large database for The Pulse and you use that to put out all the new new material that comes in. Exactly. Great. Exactly. That's kind of what uh, what we were looking to do right. for some of our clients too. So right. this, is, this is a great meeting. And those of you listening might recognize the name, Cindy, and you would probably recognize her face, too, because you've also been doing segments on Fridays on Channel 6, right? I do, yeah. Sometimes I go on Channel 6, and if there's something that we're spotlighting, they'll bring us on, and we'll be able to spotlight that client. Or if we've got a big event that we're hosting you know, or we're part of, we can talk about it on there as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're on YouTube. I mean, we're, our YouTube channel, we have a lot of subscribers, so people follow us, and, and we love it. I mean, we grew organically 
And that's what I love. Like we were talking today about business here in San Diego shop. Mike was like, shop local. I mean, I feel the same way. I mean, that's what I love. I, I got in this business because I'm so passionate about San Diego and there's so many entrepreneurs here and we need to showcase that. And that's why I love what you guys are doing too. Yeah. Because you're getting to the story, and and we love the story as well. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, uh, I have to tell the uh, the quick story of uh, what we talked about before you uh, before we got on air, and you know what what I appreciate about Cindy is she's somebody that you know worked in the corporate environment for what fourteen years, seventeen, seventeen years, Ooh, yeah. seventeen, 14 years. at my last seventeen at my last years. Job. So you started when you were about three, right? That's right. <laughs> I love you. She looks like she's twenty-five. Yeah. And uh, she found her dream, and she followed the dream, and that's the one thing that's missing in America so much. I mean, I, don't, I guess we're, we're on a New York mic uh, kick today, but um, in any case, uh, you know, how many people see what they love and follow it and try to make a living doing what they love, and, and obviously you've been very successful, so this is awesome. Well, and people thought I was crazy. They're like, you're leaving that corporate job, those benefits. You have to be an S-corp, right? right. <laughs> we were talking about entities and all those things you think about it. But at the end of the day, it's not really about the money. It's about your passion. And, and I feel like when you do what you really are born to do or what you're passionate about, things will happen. So. It's about the passion, but it's about money too. <laughs> yeah. From the CPA. <laughs> yeah. And Cindy's going to make a lot because when you also are doing what you love and you do it well, then the money's going to be there and the success will be there and then you never work a day. Exactly. You know? And what you're doing is very unique. I don't think there, I don't think you even have any competition. I would ask you what makes you different from your competition, but you don't even really have any. Well, we do, we do in a way. I mean, I, I think that there's two things that you can get boxed into. It's like, okay, are you a video marketing company? If you're a video Video marketing company, there's a lot of video marketing companies out there. So I would say the difference with us is the interview style. And I work with a, a marketing, I create a marketing strategy for the client and I figure out the potential questions that we're going to ask on camera. So I think that's the big difference between a video marketing company and us. But then there's the events or the grand openings or the launch parties that we're doing. And the difference between us and say media, like news, because we're media for hire is that um, you know, the news, might, they might come to your event depending on what's breaking. You know, if there's another story, maybe they can't attend. But if they do, they're not going to work for you. They're going to come and get the story and leave, and then there's going to be a link, which is great. I mean, everyone needs PR, but that link to that video is going to be gone after a while if you don't get a copy of it. And, and it's like it, it's mm -hmm. not – it's gone. And, and also their point of view is going to be what they're looking to tell about the, about the business. It's not going to be your POV. Exactly. And so what I do with the client is I say, hey, we're media for hire. If you're having an event and it's four hours, we're working for you. We're there the entire time you're at this event. We're doing video coverage. We're creating that buzz. We're doing interviews for your sponsors, making them feel special. We have a photographer there. You know, it's if there's a red carpet, we're working the red carpet. So, And then what we're doing is, in essence, we're capturing that for you. And then we're having a video that's produced for you that you approve, that you like. And then you've got this final video that you can use for marketing for the next time you have an event or for your website. So I think those are the two things right. that we do. So yeah. it's like having Juliana Rancic show up at your <laughs> event and work the red carpet, but making sure that everything, all the content is exactly what you need from a marketing standpoint. So if you're budgeting for your service, how much do you budget? That would just depend on the event. I would say we, we work with every client's budget. Um, we can always scale back or, or add things depending on the size. The other thing is we have um, some a la carte things that we can do like live stream. So live stream is really cool. We're one of the probably the only company in San Diego I know that's out there at an event streaming live like the news would. So if you're hosting an event and you want, you want live coverage on Facebook, we can stream it on Facebook. We can stream it out there for you. Um, so that's pretty cool. I think we should have streamed New York Mike Live uh, a few <laughs> months ago. <laughs> it's a good thing. I with, with a warning, though. With a warning yeah. label. High energy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did take an Instagram video of him. <laughs> <laughs> you're listening to Close Up on San Diego Business here on KFSD AM 1450 and financialnewsandtalk.com. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here with my co-hosts, Andrea Kay and Al Arias. And the wonderful yeah. and marvelous Cindy Matalucci. And you're so. already expanding your empire. You have even a new uh, web series coming up. Tell us about that. I'm really excited about this. So one thing that we did is I had a web show called Live with Cindy where I would talk to entrepreneurs. And that was really fun. But this new show, of course, because I love the fashion. I'm, I'm obsessed with the fashion. So I thought, you know, everybody says San Diego doesn't have good fashion. And I, I tend to disagree. I think that we do. We're a little bit more casual than other places, but we have great fashion. So I came up with this concept. It's called Fashion Fix. 
So basically, I am going to be taking you inside local boutiques, and I'm going to be live from that boutique. And then what what we'll be doing is I'll have a co-host who's fabulous. His name is Dean Hall. Um, He's been on Fox 5 as a style expert. He's part of a local styling group called Hall & Sachs. So the two of us, we have great chemistry. We're going to be sitting down with the boutique owners, getting their story on camera, and then showing you looks or talking trends or talking about something that's going on. So something relevant in fashion, all San Diego based, Um, you know, looking at uh, fall looks or things like that. Um, And then we're going to have sponsors that'll be able to be, you know, showing their product on the show, all locally based. So we're, we're really excited about it. Great. Great. Well, before we go too far, tell our listeners how they can get in touch with you. How they can how can we find you? So you guys can go to our website at www.thepulsesd.com. You can call us at 619-500-1622 or email us at thepulse at thepulsesd.com. Great. And you've got all your lots of videos on your website that people can peruse and look at. Yes, we've probably done about 300 videos. Um, we've got on our site a lot of them archived, but they can take a look under, you know, bars and restaurants.